An operating system we'll be using throughout this course and I'll be using to demonstrate is Kali Linux or Kali Linux 2.0. Kali Linux, formerly known as Backtrack, is a Debian based distribution, which you can see here looks similar to Debian, which we showed before. This is because it's within the GNOME environment. It has a collection of security, privacy, and forensic tools, which you can see here lots of them it also features timely security updates which is good support for the arm architecture a choice of popular desktops like i said gnome is what you can see here but the, you also have kde xfce mate e17 lxde etc and they're now doing seamless upgrading to the latest versions but this is not an operating system for everyday use this contains useful tools for security and privacy, which I'll be demonstrating on the course. An example being how we will be using it to monitor for suspicious traffic like Trojans or rats or applications sending out data or tracking, or just simply to show you how your browser is hacked. So that's Kali Linux. Download the Kali disk or ISO version of the disk, then uh, go here and uh, download the version that you need. But I wouldn't really recommend that because you've then got to uh, mount the ISO and install it. And that takes time. So what you can do is you can just get a virtual image, which you can go here to get, which is this link. And VMware you can get here and the VirtualBox version get here or the torrent version again this is because we're doing it for testing if this wasn't for testing then you perhaps might want to install it yourself um, but uh, we're doing this for testing so these pre-built images should be just fine note that the uh, username is root and the password is tour or tor however you pronounce that you can also download Kali Linux from osboxes.org although it's not as an official version as the one you can get via the offensivesecurity.com website because they are the guys that create Kali but this is a an alternative version so you can get VMware and VirtualBox versions uh, VDI and you can see there the uh, password and username 